We already have a, a comprehensive Oxbridge programme and one of the things we really want to do is elevate and give our students an opportunity to apply to some of the best universities, not only in the UK but abroad as well. Uh, and therefore we have devised a comprehensive Ivy League uh, preparation programme that gives students an opportunity to um, have advice and guidance as well as SAT preparation to um, access Harvard, Yale, Princeton and, and MIT. Uh, this week a tutor from America called Alan Shepton came over and helped us prepare for the SATs. We, we've needed all this prep because um, we haven't necessarily studied in the same kind of way that they might have studied in America. For example, a lot of the questions are structured differently to what we would expect and there's a lot of focus on grammar and um, punctuation, that kind of sort of stuff. Mr. Alan Shepton, he has been helping us with reading, writing, grammar as well as maths. There are a group of us that are hoping to apply to American universities such as MIT and Caltech. I may not be American but my passion is to like learn and I want to see what America can offer me as a student. My name is Alan Shepton. I have an education consulting practice in the United States. The SAT is an exam that really measures a student's readiness for a university. So the past five days I've been training students on the design of the exam. We've also been taking some practice tests. We've been going over a lot of different strategies with respect to how to manage the exam and how to think in American English because there are definite nuances between American and British English. The hardest part of this week has been adapting to the different types of grammar that Americans use. Uh, it's not completely different, but there are certain nuances within their use of punctuation such as commas. Uh, where we'd normally use to separate clauses, but they use to combine two independent clauses. Just little differences like that um, I will set them apart. I wasn't really expecting uh, for reading and writing sections to be multiple choice. A lot of the multiple choices are very similar, so it makes it hard to distinguish between them. In England, we'd normally be asked to analyse the text and we'd normally give them more time to understand it, but in the American system, we have a lot less time to understand it and retract the data. Uh, it has been difficult and it, and it has been different but because of how uh, good the teacher was uh, we've been able to go through it and understand a lot and be more confident in the SAT. So our tutor has been incredibly helpful and we've really just been improving as the week has gone on and the NCS has made it really easy for us to do all these exams and to do the applications. I've seen confidence increases, I've seen students starting to think like the examiners and I've definitely seen some number increases in the last week alone. The students I've spoken to found it absolutely brilliant. Uh, again, covering all the bases that they need um, and also the knowledge that Alan uh, brings to this, we won't be able to tap into here because it's not our system. So to have uh, someone of that calibre uh, work with the NCS is absolutely fantastic for us. I think the week's been amazing. Last week I was not confident at all, I, was, I would have achieved probably like the worst grade possible but now I feel I can get a very decent grade and by the end of the year I feel as though I should be able to achieve a really high grade. Talking to lots of people from different schools I've never seen anything even close to this level of support for applying to American universities. Here the, the attitude is really you can, you can go to the best university regardless of what country it's in and they'll provide the same level of support for applying to America as, they, as they're giving us for applying to Oxford and Cambridge and Russell Group Universities here. I feel like what NCS has provided me is a valuable once in a lifetime experience and I will cherish it.